Hi, it's Adrian from One Agency, and today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of some incredible tools we have available that are allowing you to explore a home in much greater detail online. Now, to access these tools, you can do it via realestate.com, oneagencysummary.com.au, and also our web books. To get started, we click on the play button, which is located at the bottom right hand corner of the image. This will open a new tab in your browser and give you three options. The first being panorama, the second being photo styling, and the third being furnish. So let's start by clicking on the open button for panorama. This will take you into a new tab that will immediately open up an image of the home that's starting to rotate in a 360 degree manner. Now you can speed this up by holding down the left button of the mouse and dragging it across if you want to speed it up. You can also manually pause it by holding the left mouse button down. Now these 360 degree tools that we give you allow you to explore the home from a number of points. So right here in the top right hand corner you can see a floor plan with orange dots all over it. Now you can access the rooms with the orange dots by just simply clicking on them or this button over here that says living room drops down a box that has all of the rooms that we actually have this feature available for in this particular home. So we'll go and explore another room. So we'll go outside, we'll click on the deck and we'll have a look at the backyard of this particular home. And once again, by holding the left button down, we can actually scroll across and have a look at and have a look at the deck and the alfresco area. Now that is the first of our tools. So let's take a tour of our second tool. By clicking back on the tab that we had open, we can now go to photo styling. What does photo styling allow us to do? Well, it allows us to give the kitchen a makeover in this particular home. So we click the X button here and, and get rid of that. And we can see that we've got a number of options here. There are five in total. We can change the wall color the cabinet colour, the countertop, the flooring and the splashback. Now we'll start with the wall colour and we might decide that we want to make the wall uh, a cream white. So by clicking cream white you'll see that the colours have now changed. We can decide that we want to change the colour of the cabinets and that we prefer a white kitchen. So once again we can click on the white button and it'll now map the kitchen with a white colour or white finish. Now to get a better contrast on the bench top, we may decide to change the countertop here to a darker colour. So we are able to go to say a black colour and it'll give us a nice contrasting bench top. Another feature that we have here is that we can change the flooring that may match the white kitchen in a much better way. So once again, we click on the flooring. In this particular instance, we'll go bright oak and you'll see that the kitchen now is starting to take shape in a much different light. The last option we have here is to change the splashback. Now there are a number of options here. We can have subway tiles or we can have glass splashbacks. I prefer a subway tile, so we're going to go with a black subway tile in this particular instance. Now we can also go back to the default image by simply clicking on the default image here and that takes us back to what the kitchen are, currently looks like. It's a great way to get a visual on how the kitchen could look if you were to move into that particular home. Now another tool we have that is a very exciting tool and probably my favourite has to be the furnish tool. So let's click on open here and what's going to happen now is we're going to open up with a floor plan and we're going to be able to drop and resize our furniture in this. So we've got a really large living room here and we might decide that we want to put a couch in here. Now your couch might have different measurements to this particular couch. So we can increase this or decrease it if we like. In this particular instance, we'll make it a nice big couch at 350 um, and we'll enter that in and you can see now that the couch over here has widened up. We can also rotate it by simply using that circle to rotate and position it. And if we want to, we can position it down here and have a look at what it would look like. Now, we can select different types of furniture for the home. So by clicking on here, you'll see that you've got bathroom, bedroom, dining room, kitchen, office, outdoor, and a wet room. So you can drop all types of furniture in this, including beds, um, dishwashers, chairs, 
side tables and lamps. Another great feature of this particular tool is that we can might decide, like in this particular home, it's set up as a three bedroom home, but we might decide that we wanna put a wall in this particular home. So we can click on tools over here and you can see it's got draw walls and shapes. We click on that and we're gonna draw a wall in by clicking this line. We also can change the colors if we like, but we'll leave it in black. Now we'll draw a wall right here And you can see we can now divide that room and get a visual on what that room would look like. We could have two doors. This part up here, we could say leave as a bedroom and make it a fourth bedroom. If we wanted to, we could create a fifth bedroom or we could still leave this rather large area as another living zone within the home. Now, this is just some of the tools that we have available. And I'll also like to take you through our web books and show you in our web books how you now can have access to a digital brochure online that has way, way more information than you'll ever see in a handout that you get at an open. So I'm gonna take you through to a digital brochure that we've recently created, which was for 34 Lighthorse, which is currently up online on realestate.com. Now, as you can see, it opens up here. Now you can access this web book by simply texting the word in the text to the phone number 04 double eight double eight forty five thirty and clicking on the links now when you open up one of our web books you'll see on the left hand side you've got a menu and you can click through any of those to access any of those parts of the menu you can also simply scroll down now this particular web book shows 34 light horse circuit which is in the rosenthal estate in sunbury it's got a price guide on the property very detailed information about the home and all of the features it also allows you to look at and encompasses all of the photos that you'll find online. And if you continue to scroll down, it'll show you a map in the area which you can, which you can actually zoom in and out by clicking on the plus button here or the minus button. It also will have the floor plans, so you can look at a 3D floor plan and have a great look. Simply click on it, it'll bring it up and you can get an idea of what the floor plan looks like with furniture in place. Click on the X to get out of it. Now, you can also see that the interactive tools are embedded in this document that we've just gone through. And once again, you can play around with the furniture and drop them in. You can look at the panorama shots that's here. As you can see, it's rotating and you can see the floor plan with the orange dots. And then if you continue to scroll down, you'll find information about the local area. You'll also find some comparative sales. And more importantly, you'll find some important documents that can be embedded into this document. In particular, we often put in there the contract of sale and the vendor statement. Now, if you were to click on the link here, vendor statement, it will actually open up the vendor statement and give you access to that. There is a video that gives you more details about us as an organization. And of course, we've put the agent's details to make it easy for you to contact the agents and some common terminology that you find in real estate that you may not know how it pertains to real estate. It's there and you can actually gives you some really good definitions. So what I want you to do is I want you to take some time and explore these. Now, if you've got any issues with accessing any of these tools, please feel free to contact myself, Adrian, on 0402 168 535 or call our office on 9740 5000. We'd love to help you. We'd love to walk you through these tools if you can't work it out because we believe that this is going to give you a fantastic opportunity to narrow down your selection prior to attending an open and give you back some of your time. And also, in times where it's very hard to get to an open inspection or there are none available, this is a great way to inspect the property.